Hello everybody, this is a video from Mr. Brackett. Um, the audience for this video is a little bit different than my other videos. I'm creating a video specifically for our community, our parents and legal guardians of students. Um, this video is for you. I want to show you something that you're going to need to know uh, when using PowerSchool. Uh, over the course of the summer 2014, uh, we completed a major upgrade to our power school system. It involves some changes that you need to be aware of. Um, I want to show you those and how to navigate around them. Um, our power school address is the same as it's always been, eauclairpowerschool.barryandrace.org slash public. And when you go there, you're going to see this power school screen. Uh, you can see... Um, on this screen, uh, it looks pretty similar to what it's always looked like, except that um, it has this new tab that says create an account. And every power school parent um, for our school district is going to need to create one of these accounts. Uh, and it's a new kind of account. Um, Pearson, the maker of power school, came out with this account to link um, parents to students, uh, even multiple students. If you have multiple students in our school district, we thank you for your support. And this kind of an account will be a way that you can link your account as a parent with many, uh, as many student accounts as you have. Um, so you're going to click on this second tab that says create an account, and then you're going to go ahead and create the account. Uh, you're going to end up at this screen. Uh, the screen's very simple. The enter, the submit button is all the way down at the bottom. Um, but you need to start out at the top. Um, you're going to put in your parent information um, in this, uh, this series of blanks at the top. Um, hopefully you have an email address you can put in here. Maybe... Um, you know, in most cases, it's probably going to be your personal account. So you want to put that in there so that PowerSchool can make contact with you. And it also updates our systems so that we can use the email features in PowerSchool to make contact with you. Um, you're going to choose a username here. It doesn't really matter what it is, but you're going to need to remember it because it's what you will log in with in the future. Uh, and then you're going to need to create a password. Uh, you want it to be at least seven characters long with one uppercase and one lowercase letter in there and at least one number and also at least one special character like a exclamation point or the ampersand or the um, hashtag, you know, you can put any of those in there as special characters. So you're going to need to create that password. I'm going to create one for this made up account. And you see over here, what has happened is um, we've gotten to the place where um, PowerSchool identifies the strength of your password. You see, when you've got no password, it's blank. If I put a couple things in, uh, it doesn't even meet the minimum requirements. But as I meet all of those requirements, then it ends up being strong. And you're going to have to put that same one in here. And then that's the end of the initial section. And then the second section is link students to this account. So you're creating an account. Um, and you're going to link your kids to that account. And so, you know, let's say um, Joe Public's son is John Public, um, and I am his father, so I'm going to put that in there. Um, then an access ID and an access password. You're going to need that information from us. Um, I'm sure uh, we will make contact with all of you with a letter uh, or maybe just some kind of a printout that has your access ID and your access password. 
So when we get that information to you, that's what you're going to put in here. Um, it needs to be um, your access ID and your access password, not the students. Um, so whatever your parent access ID is and whatever your parent access password is, those are going to go in there. And you can link multiple kids. So maybe my daughter Sally is also at the school. Um, I am her father. And then I put in the access ID and the password that I have as her father. And I can link as many kids as I want. Uh, you see there's spots for seven kids. Um, I'm not sure what to do if you have eight kids in our school district. Um, we thank you for your support. Um, but I'm not sure how to enter eight kids in. So we will just assume you have seven kids or less. You'll put those... Uh, pieces of information in there and then you'll click enter and now if I clicked enter on this right now it would fail because there's no Joe public or John public or Sally public um, so I can't really show you what it's going to look like but the credentials that you put up here uh, this username and this password assuming that things go the way that they're supposed to go um, those are the credentials you're going to use to log in. So then once you get back to that public portal, and this is what you're faced with, you're going to put the username that you created in there and the password that you created in there, and you're going to sign in with that. And that's going to allow you access to PowerSchool uh, moving forward. Uh, one of the other cool things that it allows you access to is the, uh, let's see, how will I show this to you? Um, maybe if I show you, no, that's not what I want. So Pearson has released a an app um, for parents uh, for PowerSchool, um, and you can download it from PearsonSchoolSystems.com. You can follow these links to the. Uh, App Store for Apple or Google Play for Android. Uh, you can also uh, test to see, I'm pretty sure um, I've done this, um, and our district, the Eau Claire Public Schools, uh, is mobile enabled, which means you can use this app, the Power School for Parents app, um, on your device, Android or iOS. Uh, there's also uh, a power teacher version uh, which some of our teachers use on their iPads uh, and there's power school for students uh, the students can have uh, the same kind of access um, and so you can get that from the app store you'll use your device to download it um, this is what the icon will look like for the parent app it's kind of orangish um, and you can use the, the account that you created here. Um, you can use that to um, access the PowerSchool for Parents app. And so that's another cool feature of creating this. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, contact the high school or middle school offices. Uh, and we can help you with your PowerSchool access. So thank you very much. And that is the end of this video.